Okay, thank you, Chairman. So my name is Kurt Kondo. I came from Riki in Japan. So today I'd like in this uh, topic, the spin of torque due to the magnetic spin hole effect in this topology transfer magnet. So this is the uh, outline of my talk. So at first I will introduce about uh, our research topic on magnet 3x or something. So then after that, uh, today I will show the two um, topics. So one is the magnet spin hole effect. This is a new type of the spin hole effect in this non-collinear non anti-ferromagnet, and we measure the spin of torque from this material. Then after that, so only one page, I will show the very small result of the magnetic domain wall dynamics in this material, and I will summarize the talk. Okay, so already in the previous speakers, so introduced about a very excellent introduction about this material, the anti-ferromagnet, magnet 13, and the germany. So this material is a very uh, anti-ferromagnet, and the nail temperature is around 460 Kelvin in case of the bar crystal cases. Then in this material show how the Kagome structure as shown here and uh, show the very small magnetization. And however, so even in the antiferromagnet, this material shows very large response compared with the ferromagnet. So as shown here, so unmasked hole effect and the Mork and the almost length effect. So this large and response is called by the very curvature of this material. And so important things in the experiment for the, this one is the uh, magnet switching field is very small. In this bulk case is around several hundred L set or one, around 100 L set. So it in, so means that even in this antifer magnet case, we can control the magnetic state by using small magnetization. Then, so in that sense, the, this kind of the antifer magnet material, the magnet switching so case, so non collinear case is a very good uh, material for studying on the uh, antifer magnet spin torsion. So it means the very first uh, dynamics in the antifer magnet, so any kind of thing. Then, so in, the, in this material, so we uh, focus on the, this material for the spin torsion properties. Then in our group, we focus on the several topics. I pick up the several topics in this figure, uh, the slide. So uh, one is the spin hole effect, as shown here, and uh, one other is the domain wall dynamics in this material. And already talked about the, in the previous speaker, so about the electron switching. So today I will talk about these two topics. And if interesting in this electron switching by using the spin of torque, uh, so maybe you can check this paper. So anyway, so this material, so we can control the magnetization switch the station by using a uh, very small magnetic field, and recently we can uh, control by using the current as shown here. Okay, so, and this is the collaborator and the finding of this project. So I'm belong in the Professor Otan group in the Riken, and a very strong collaborator is uh, Nakazuji, Professor Nakazuji in the University of Tokyo. Then about the spin hole effect of this material is uh, Professor Kimata and Theoretian, Fortin and Alan McNaught. And about the domain wall dynamics is uh, uh, this and the Skimoto and uh, Miss and Wu uh, is a student. And uh, Professor Nakatani calculated the, the magnetic structure of this material. So he is a very specialist for the uh, micromagnetic simulation of the magnetic material. And so about the electron switching, so there are many collaborators are shown here. Okay, so let's move to the first topic. So one, first one is the discovery of the magnetic, magnetic spin hole effect. Okay, this is a very general introduction of spin hole effect. So spin hole effect, so by using direct spin hole effect, so means uh, charge current to the spin current conversion. So we can, uh, so when applied charge current in the heavy element, heavy material like the platinum or something, so the spin current generated the popping or direction in case of spin hole effect. So by using this spin hole effect, we can do the magnetization and control by using the spin of torque you know, as shown here. Then, so as a result, we can do the magnetization reversal and the auto situation and the control of the spin waves. And of course, by using inverse spin hole effect, we can do the energy harvesting, as shown here, from the light, sound, and the heat. So we can excite the magnetized dynamics in the ferromagnet layer and 
this uh, magnetic dynamics can excite the spin current, and as a result, we can convert the spin current to the, to the charge current by using inverse spin hole effect. So in, in this sense, this kind of spin hole effect by the spin trunk device is very important and the many report about the, these uh, devices. Okay, in the sense, the spin hole effect is very important uh, effect in the spin trunk field. Then, so we heard the uh, very naive question. So this is, a, uh, this antiferromagnet is a very new material. And even in the antiferromagnet, this uh, already are explained, so this the material shows a very, very large anomalous hole effect. Then, so in the general, the anomalous hole effect shares the scattering mechanism with the spin hole effect. In those cases, how about the spin hole effect in the magnetic team and the, this kind of non-collinear system? So this is a very naive question. Then we started the uh, experimental research. Okay, this is a sample configuration for the uh, spin accumulation detection in the experimental. So this is, is a sample figure, and uh, we use the bulk crystal, single crystal with the MANG-3 tin. And the central portion is the MANG-3 tin. And so we fabricate by using the focus ion beam technique, FIB technique. Then sample structure is uh, uh, several, uh, several micron and uh, 10 or 20 micron. So not so small sample. So by using the, uh, and, uh, sorry, so this root part is the uh, ferromagnetic electrode. Then, so by using these devices, we measure the spin accumulation at the surface of magnetic tin. So in the experiment, we apply the charge current in the magnetic tin in this direction. Then we measure the spin accumulation signal. So if there are some spin accumulation at the interface, we can detect by using the ferromagnetic electrode or this blue electrode. Then we measure. So this is the result. So, uh, magnetic structure of the MANG-3 tin, the disk, in this case. Then, so in this case, we measure after the fi fix of the magnetization station of the MANG-3 tin, so we sweep the magnetic field in this very small region. So in this small region, so only the um, uh, magnetization of the ferromagnet of this one is the switching, as shown here. Then we observe this kind of the hysteric loop. So this hysteric loop, means the proof of the spin accumulation at the surface of magnetic tin. And in this case, the, uh, in this case, the spin is accumulated in this direction when applied the charge current in this device. And after that, we apply the large magnetic field for the switching of the magnetic tin, so we're showing here. So in that case, we observe the opposite sign of the history loop in this configuration. So it means the sign of the accumulated spin is opposite compared to this and this. So from this experiment, so we found the sign change of the accumulated spin by changing the magnetization magnetic routine. So this is a very unique property compared to the typical spin hole effect. So uh, because in case of the typical spin hole effect, the sign of the spin is always fixed. Then, so we check the angular dependence. So this is the platinum case and the magnetic routine case. In this slide, I want to compare the, this angle dependence. So in this, in the case of the uh, spin hole effect in the platinum cases, so if apply the charge current in this direction, then spin is accumulated in this direction. Then if rotate the magnetic field from the minus 90 to the plus 90, I shown here, yes. So we can get these kinds of the amplitude, uh, the angle dependence. So it means from the 90 and the plus 90, so we can get this kind of the cosine theta. So this delta R is the amplitude of the history through. And at a zero magnetic field, uh, zero degree is a, a parallel or anti-parallel configuration between the accumulated spin and the magnetization of the ferromagnet. Then this is a very typical uh, angular dependence of the spin hole effect. However, in case of the manga thing, so we measure the angular dependence. This is the result. So this is angular dependence is completely different. So compared to spin, uh, spin hole effect. And especially the sign here and here is opposite. So, and uh, this variation is systematically changing by changing the uh, direction of manga 13. So from these experiments, we uh, found 
So this, this is a very new type of the spin hole effect, and we can control the spin accumulation vector by controlling the magnetic, uh, magnetization magnetic routine. Then, so we call that the magnetic spin hole effect. So to understand that this uh, kind of the angular dependence, so the solution, the protein and the magnet calculated the spin accumulation by using a very simple toy model. So this is a very simple uh, the image of the spin the toy model. Then, so this is a calculated result. And X, Sx and Sy and Sz is the, uh, each component of the spin and X and Y and Z. So by controlling the magnetization direction of the magnetic routine, so this is uh, changing like this. So it means uh, uh, by changing the uh, magnetization direction of the magnetic routine, so systemically change in this case. So in the, our experiment, we measured only the in-plane component. So we observed this kind of the switching so in the experiment. So this is uh, consistent with the, our experiment result. Anyway, so this is uh, just a very short summary of the image of the magnetic spin hole effect. So in case of the spin hole effect and uh, uh, rush by Edelstein effect, so this is the rush by Edelstein effect. So in the worst case, so the way if apply the charge current in this material and the interface is the spin accumulation vector is always in plane, as shown here. However, in case of the magnetic system in like the magnetic routine cases, so spin position vector can change by changing the magnetic interaction as shown here. So this is a new uh, type of spin hole effect. Okay. Then, so we found a new type of the spin hole effect in this new material. Then we measure, in the next step, we measure the spin of torque due to the, this material. Now, so this is a very, uh, almost same with slide with the previous summary. Then, so in the case of the spin hole effect, so, so we use the uh, typical the non-magnetic material. In that case, the, the spin polarization is uh, in plane. So in that case, uh, by using this spin accumulation, we can control it easily in the case of the in-plane magnetization. However, if we can realize out-of-plane spin components are shown here, so we can use for the uh, out-of-plane uh, magnetization. So in case of the magnetic system, so we can control the direction of the spin by changing the magnetization, so we can realize the uh, out-of-plane uh, uh, out spin components. So this is very important because, uh, uh, you know, the magnetic random access memory application, so they, in these devices, so we use the uh, uh, power pendulum magnetized uh, film. So in that case, uh, this spin direction is very important for the application side. So actually, so in so far, there are many, uh, several reports about uh, these uh, components, out of frame components. So, in, so I pick the pro, only four pa papers. So in this paper, they use the uh, atomic layer six uh, material. So by using the symmetry breaking of this material, they, so they observe the outer plane component of the spin. And so in these three paper, they use a ferromagnet. So in this case, they observe the spin anomalous hole effect. And this case, and this case, so uh, they observe, realize the uh, outer plane component by using precession of the uh, spin, by using inside of the ferromagnet and the interface between ferromagnet and non-magnet interfaces. So anyway, so this, the generation of outer plane spin component is the kind of the hot topic in the spin tuning sphere. Then, so in our uh, case, uh, the case is we focus on the, this material to generate outer plane spin component. So this is a sample structure. So, manga, so we prepare the single crystal magnetic routine and uh, ferromagnet by the film. So this magnetic routine is uh, cutting by using FIB techniques. So same uh, technique with the previous uh, topics. Then, so in this uh, device, we apply the charge current in this material. Then if there are some spin accumulation at the between the interface between the ferromagnet and the fer uh, magnetic routine, so this spin uh, accumulation affects the uh, ferromagnet layer as the spin of the torque. And so in the spin of the torque, there are two types of the torque. The one is the spin-like torque and the transfer, uh, spin transfer torque. So 
So fibrile token is the M cross S, and the spin transfer token is M cross S cross M. Is a, this, this is the definition. So by using the, uh, this uh, measurement technique, so we can measure the, this kind of torque in the experimentary. So I will show the experimental result. At first, so we measure the effective magnitude due to the fibrile torque. So uh, if there's some fibrile torque, we can uh, detect the effective power uh, magnetic field. So uh, the, if there's some effective magnetic field in this system by the current, so we can uh, detect the shift of the resonance field. So I will explain a little. So this is a sample structure, and we apply the RF and the DC current in this material. So this RF current is the uh, excite the fMR of the, this ferromagnet. And so DC current is uh, uh, generate the static spin accumulation at the interfaces. Okay, then, so this is the experimental result. And this is, uh, uh, this axis is a DC current, and this axis is a difference uh, of the resonance field, resonance field between the plus Z and the minus Z. Anyway, so we observe this kind of the behavior, linear uh, variation by changing the DC current amplitude. So it means uh, if we apply the DC current in these materials, so we observe the auto plane magnetic field, effective magnetic field. And in this case is a negative magnetic field, and this case is a positive uh, magnetic field. And so it means uh, when I apply the DC current in these uh, materials, so the, there's a, uh, the auto plane component is generated. And auto plane component is act as a field like torque. As a result, we can observe this kind of effective magnetic field. And the interesting and important thing is, really, so we, we rotate the magnetization state of the magnetic retin, so we observe the opposite direction. So it means uh, uh, the, the, this slope is the opposite. So it means, that, so if rotate the magnetization of the magnetic retin, so, so <laughs> Maybe spin accumulation, auto plane component was changes. Then we observe the opposite current. So from this experiment, so we observe the uh, uh, effective magnetic field along the auto plane direction. So this is caused by the auto plane spin component and the other result of the field like torque. Okay, then in the next experiment, we measure the spin transfer torque contribution. So if there's a spin transport torque in this, uh, from the, this accumulation, we can modulate the damping constant of the ferromagnet. So sample structure is the same. And the RF, so in, the, uh, in the, this experiment also, I applied RF and the DC current. Then, so if the magnetization, magnetic field is in plane in these cases, then we measured the uh, line width of the spectrum of the ferromagnet. So, so if there's some spin transfer torque, the uh, line width of the FMR can be changed by using the spin transfer torque contribution. And this is our result. So this is the line width. Line width is the proportion of the damping constant of the, this ferromagnet, the magnet, uh, magnetization, uh, magnet, uh, damping constant of the ferromagnet. And so this is a charge current. So we apply the charge current, the, the line width also changes like this. And if the magnetization direction was opposite, so this trend was opposite. So this behavior is uh, uh, important. Thing is this behavior is the uh, uh, same trend with the uh, typical uh, platinum cases. So it means uh, 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 implant component means the y, uh, y, this direction is y. So the y component is generated by using the uh, by the uh, typical spin hole effect in the magnetic routine. So uh, from this experiment, so the effective magnetic field measurement, the, this kind of dumping constant measurement and the additional angle dependence, we, uh, in this magnetic routine cases, so spin overtrope generate by the both spin component between the outer plane and the in plane component. So this is the conclusion. Then, so from this experiment, we uh, the, some uh, relationship between the uh, magnetization direction of magnetic routine and the accumulated spin. So this is a orange arrow is the magnetic order direction, the octopole direction, the magnetic routine. So by 
rotating this octopore direction by the magnetic field, we can uh, control the uh, direction of the octopore. And so depend on the this position, the accumulated spin vector was changing. And of course, the other result of the variation of the spin vector changing, so uh, spin of torque also changing. So we observe. And sorry, so there are no data, but uh, from this experiment, we uh, roughly estimated the conversion efficiency of these manga switching cases. So this value is uh, uh, several, several times larger than the typical transition metal. So in that sense, this material is a very good material for the spin uh, torque. So we found this kind of thing. So, okay, I will summarize uh, this topic. So, uh, manganese lithium already, you know that this is very interesting material. Then this material shows a very large anomalous pore effect compared with the ferromanganese. Then by using uh, this material, we measure the spin hole effect. Other results we observed found the magnetic spin hole effect. In this case, we can control the spin accumulation vector by controlling the magnetization magnetic routine. And by using the same uh, material, so we measure the spin of its torque and we observe the new kind of the R torque. And uh, it is very large compared to the uh, typical transition metal like the plasma. So in, from this experiment, so, we, so this is just the message. So this magnetic routine, non-collinear uh, antifer magnet can be used good and a very unique spin torque source. So this is a very important comment from this experiment. Okay, then, so this is a kind of the final experimental uh, data. So I want to introduce about the recent work on the magnetic domain wall dynamics in this uh, non-collinear antifer magnet. So you know, so in, of course, in case of the ferromagnet, so there are many reports and uh, uh, about the, the magnetic domain wall dynamics. Then, so however, in case of the non uh, antiferromagnetic peaks, the domain wall dynamics study is very small. Then we focus on the, this uh, topic. So this is a sample structure. So this is a, uh, this part is the magnetic three thin, thin. Then, so we cut it uh, by using FIB technique. So cut only here and here and here. So by using uh, this. Uh, devices, we can detect the magnetic state by using anomalous pore effect. Then in this experiment, we uh, excite and generate the domain wall inside of the, this wire by using the current. Means that if we apply the charge current at first in here, then so by using the state field, we can excite the domain wall in, the, in here. So this is the image. Then, so after the nucleation of the domain wall inside the wire, so we applied the pulse current in this wire direction. So as a result, so the domain ball move in this direction. Then, so magnetization switching occurred. So uh, this station uh, can detect by using anomalous wall effect. So from these experimental results, we measure the domain wall velocity by using the uh, charge current. So this is the result. And this is domain wall velocity, and this is the upright uh, current density. So, uh, velocity is very small, uh, just uh, eight, uh, eight or nine uh, meter per sec at this uh, uh, current density. So it means uh, maybe the, this kind of the creep motion region, not flow region. So, however, uh, by using uh, this experimental setup, we can measure the domain wall dynamics by the current. So we found this kind of thing. Okay, so uh, in this paper, we wrote uh, more detail about uh, this experimental setup. So if you're interested in this topic, maybe you can find uh, information in these papers. Okay, so I want to summarize my talk. So in our group, so we uh, focus on the spin trans functionality on this uh, non-collinear antifer magnet. Then, so today I talk about the spin hole effect of this material, and I introduce about the new type of the magnet spin hole effect and the spin of your torque. And so recently we focus on, on the domain wall dynamics by using the current in this non-collinear uh, antifer magnet. And so of course, there are many, many reports about the electron switching. So if you're interested in these uh, three topics, so you can find the paper this paper.
Then, so, anyway, so this material is a very large response, and by using the current, we can control the situation, uh, magnetic state. So, and so by using uh, this material, maybe we can find the new novel functionality compared to the typical ferromagnet and the ferromagnet. So this is the important thing. So this is the summary of this talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>